his first fight at 130 pounds. Goes to the body upstairs with the fence. Yeah, you know what? Oh, oh and that's oh, not nice. working out for him. Bro. And I was, you know what? This guy got the wow. late notice. Part of this, remember, is Nyabar up in a weight he hasn't oh, been at. No, but then this is where he gets lazy. He throws the right wow. hand, I mean the jab. He gets caught. Left circling, trying to get back to the ring. Oh, beautifully wow. done. There it is. But you know, finding your ring, finding your moments. First round, he pressure at moments, but he's waiting for Cobra to make mistakes. And he said I would control this fight with the jab, and that's exactly how you've only had one professional champion lost his 20 seconds left in the sixth again the right hand another right face there's a right and a left that score happened but the way Cobalt's fighting wow, blistering. we've said it before they may go hand in hand I mean the level of con when Colbert kind of went into a defensive shell Colbert did make 130 pounds the limit for this way introducing our referee in charge Thomas Taylor it's showtime by way of Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. Here is the 2012 Olympic silver medalist, Nayumbayar. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the current undefeated Colbert. Protect yourselves at all times. Listen to my commands. Touch them up. Chris Colbert said he was going to knock out Uriarchus Gamboa. I'm looking to come for some A. <laughs> But that's definitely the mentality you got. Oh, he's not gonna get old school boxing wisdom, guy says timing will be old periods in his fights, but he's at least going after Colbert. Early effort here by Nyambar, and there's the speed of Colbert. Colbert's got some hand speed as well. You know, one of the things that now we'll see. Colbert already splitting, already seeing some great stuff in the first half of the first round. And you want to be a sharpshooter like for if you're Colbert, you know, you want the guard with the jab and both fighters doing it in this venue. <laughs> oh. oh, three punches. Never scaled more than 128 pounds. The timing will beat the speed, but I, right, right now the speed is being... Yeah. Opportunity under the bright lights here in the main event. And Colbert using that blinding jab. Oh, and he's not pressuring just yet. He wants to figure out. He wants to. Oh, I like that. Good job. And as I mentioned, when he goes lefty, he said the uppercut. Go downstairs early. He did try and go to the body early on. And towards start to the main event, round number two. Lefty, and what was the first punch he threw? <laughs> the uppercut. It was an uppercut. Nyambayar needs to find his range, which he, which he... Chris Colbert, 15 and 0 to begin. <laughs> He's a man true to his word. Oh, beautiful left hook to the butt. You know, uh, Colbert came out as a left. Oh, nice right hand over it, the top. First round, he pressure at moments, but he's waiting for Colbert to make mistake. And again, guys, we're getting a fight that's right in the center of the ring. The ring is where There's the majority magnet. of these <laughs> fights are be a, a better opponent just for, for Chris Colbert at this stage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Belt, Not working out for him. Tested here tonight, and that jab continues to be a shot to South Pile. Yeah. And gets hit with the. <laughs> what? You can't get it. Just stick that all day. See, he's going to get a little desperate. He's going to be lit. Good jab, good defense, a little bit lighter on your feet. Round number three. Liano uh, Sosa, uh, who is like. Stealing the O's from Harmanito De La Torre and of course unloading on Colbert, Colbert absorbing. Nayambaya are not being disappointed, discouraged whatsoever. In the corner and he's done a great job with a nice left hook by Nayambaya. Goes to the body upstairs with arching forward. And there's that shot. He's still in this fight, trying to find his range. And uh, oh, Scott wow. Nayambaya. On instructions <laughs> to his uh, Brooklyn homie, Mr. Chris not, Colbert, not. as anticipated between the undefeated Colbert. The confidence that Colbert has, and that's why he got hit. He got too confident. Part of this, remember, is Nyambar up in a weight he hasn't oh, been in. He has. But you know why you're landing to the head now? Do you understand? Because you're pushing Colbert back, landing the hook, and 
But, but Colbert coming back with his own punches, the body shots. Ford and I am by our landing his best punch with that counter right. Oh, listen, he, Colbert's thrown 100 more punches than him in this throw, which is a lot more for Colbert. And because stop, stop, of that, stop, stop, he has stop, stop, landed stop, stop. the lulls in activity. Yeah, and that's... He's got to find the range. He's got to wait for that moment. Left circling, trying to get back to the ring. Oh, beautifully wow. done. Set a combined record of 112 and 6. There it is. Was an Olympic silver medalist in 2012. Has been. It's almost as if he's. I don't want to use the word desperate. That's way. He's been more affected that way. Wow, don't performed well. Yeah, you can tell, you can see data, and then he was going to test Nyambayar. Nyambayar not committing too much, not pressuring Colbert at the end stop, of stop, the stop, fourth. Stop, stop, stop. The reactions are a little slow now, so his defense got to be up a little higher. He has landed some very nice right hands. Going to the body. This is round number five, scheduled for 12-time player in a division where the belt holders are Javante Davis. Uh, Colbert's you never been cut. Remember, you got to watch those heads, all right? You got to really watch them. This fighter because, again, he's not committing too much when he does. You know, uh, the sparring that we talked about, the... the and again, Nyambayar on the inside, he, and Colbert's really fast, so he will land his one, two, three punches. Pace. Even though what Abner oh. said is 100% true about what he's for Colbert's not landing anything. Yeah, the problem, oh, except oh, for that. Man. Got tagged with the jab to the face, right hand. <laughs> Sounds like a podcast, Abner. He is. Fast jab, sharp shooter. Oh, three. And it's all about momentum, you know, finding your way. Colbert was missing a little while. Colbert, on jab, coming from. But you know, finding your range, finding your moments. The jab session. Colbert with an overhand right. We're headed. Huh? Do me a favor, man. You know, he comes back with this almost a three piece, but he lands that. He's going to miss the first two, and the third one is the one that's going to land. Colbert has been highly effective, executing skilled Tukstat Nyambayar. Which is 30%, which is a nice percentage to land for you. Before Gamboa pulled out due to a rib injury to uh, ratchet up the offense. Yeah, you know what? Oh, oh and that's yeah. absolutely, especially coming up in weight. Again, Nayam Bayar can be his own worst enemy, being passive at times. And I was just thinking, I was, you know what? This guy got the wow. late noted. You think about, you think twice before you go in again. Yeah, the jab, as he's, he said, he would control the display. Many in attendance tonight, supporting the Mongolian, showcasing their national pride. Amateur box. They've only had one. Professional champion, lost his 20 seconds left in the sixth. Again, the right hand, another right hand. Two wins, Billy. Defense got to be a little better, okay? A beautiful, beautiful round. And he said I would control this fight with the jab, and that's exactly how you... The second half of the... Colbert lands normally 45% of his power. Sosa yeah. in the corner. <laughs> yes. He's been very economical. Uh, Colbert winning, and in the last couple of rounds, he's adding mm -hmm. the right hand. To There's a right to the body. I agree, and he's a fine coach, and he has, of course, turned Colbert. He gets cut on the hairline. No one will know because the blood on his hair. Will look at the numbers, Mr. Bernstein. Good idea, and we pretty much stopped. <laughs> Space. There's a right and a left that scores. And there you have it. Colbert giving the opportunity to land your body shots. You go ahead. But to kick off the second half of the fight, it's well there. Nyambayar needs most of the rounds. He hasn't been as effective as the lefty as well. Colbert changing the whole momentum of this fight by pressuring. For Colbert, the hand speed, the technique. And the Showtime Championship boxing crew on hand here. It's in his home, and he said, you know, there were many times when I could Nyambayar in the black with silver trim. As this match has gone on, and... I mean, Nyambayar's one loss went the 12-round distance with... Courage, obviously, but uh, he's got he's got to put much more... Valetta as he stopped him later in the fight. Very strong. Nyambayar now trying his best to pressure. Simply be too small for yeah. 130. It was almost a perfect right hand. Colbert was able to take that punch. Yeah, it's almost impossible to get. Oh, and the right hand. Colbert continues to 
jab. It's been an exercise in futility, and now he's fighting. And that was where we knew he was going to be something special. And that was Colbert came into his own, taking that major step up. Do not let him hit you with them clean punches, okay? Can you see it? Now here he turns to lefty, and he lands the sweeping. Definitely sending a message, man. This guy, this guy's built the confidence. Yeah. And I like how he changes the speed on the jab, Colbert, here and there. Timing, beating speed, and yet the speed is double jab, splitting the guard. Another jab connects, another jab. But it's always a setup punch for the right hand. Well, because Colbert's so fast, you know, exactly. he, yeah, he almost impossible. Because, you know, he's landed a lot more, landing at 34%, which for your overall... You are Tukstad Nyambayar here in the ninth round, moving up. He's literally doubled up the amount of punches thrown by Nyambayar. Yeah, Colbert has thrown twice as many punches, landed three times. Kate, his title, he feels that he and Xavier Martinez... Mm, er, this is his first fight. <laughs> At 130 pounds. Oh, yeah. Sign me up for that one, huh? Yes, and Nyambayar beginning started. So you invested in the, in, you know, getting in. I hope not. That, that yeah. would be a really good fight. <laughs> By the <laughs> colorful Chris Colbert. Yeah, but you have to pick up the, you guys pick up the shit. You gotta pick it up. He is, and it's not just Chris Colbert. Go, that entire corner in it. Captain, but the way Colbert's oh, fighting, wow, he's blisters. got control. They understand he's controlling this fight. Anything can happen in a boxing match. Ooh, man, uppercut to open up. But well, you see what Colbert's doing there. Colbert said he would stop Nyan Bayar. Round 10. Definitely versatility by Colbert. Colbert has it all, really, you know. Um... But a barrage of punches that landed upstairs for Colbert. Phenomenal round in the 10th. Landed 43 punches. Nyan Bayar has gone uh, three. The lulls in activity, and we've seen a bit of that here tonight. Put. On the pressure, there he goes, Nyambar, but again, we've said it before, it may go hand in hand. I mean, the level of cop. At all, this, this, this fighting style will give anyone problems. You see when he goes to the hands up, hit him in the ear. Can you give me another round like that? He thinks a good round. When he comes Earlier, out, yeah. back with the hook right after the right hand. Hey, that could be, that could be a problem too. <laughs> Nobody beats Father Time. Well, thankful credit for right, taking stop, no, such a back. tough Protect test you, on short notice. and Looking for a moment to land, but you know, wow. it's, it's been Colbert on. Chris Colbert again, 24 years of age, mm. putting up. And not giving up. I mean, Nyamba here is definitely not giving up. From and he's trying, and there's nothing yeah. wrong with trying. You gotta try if you're Nyamba. It's just the Colbert's movement and using the angle so well. Yeah. Colbert along the ropes, not taking any. He comes in with that jab, double jab. Colbert's waiting for it with yeah. that. Twelfth and a final round of our... He, he's playing prevent defense and just kind of coasting. Someone who has never nice coasted. Come on, baby. Three minutes, tough. Three minutes. Grab. Grab my Come jab. Here. jab and grab. Always an appreciative crowd here. Turns 29 next month. Fighting appears to be cruising to his 16th consecutive victory. What he hasn't done yet is fight an upper echelon. He has put up a valiant effort, but... 130 pounder, truly upper echelon. And we're gonna find out. Just a little bit more, I mean, close the show, meaning pressure, Colbert. Put on a show with his uh, footwork here in the 12th and final round. That is, but you know, you want to give a little bit more excitement. Especially here with this. Showcasing the sweet science that hot Chris Primetime Colbert. Remaining perfect, but Nyan Bayar with the craft. Guys, he's just a superb boxer. And while there are fans all here in attendance, a smattering of booze. <laughs> A final exchange fitting for And I assume they're carrying Nyambe around the ring. Letting Nyambayar know, hey, you got power. You are gonna be uh, right. like he did towards the end. But Nyambe always trying. Punch was done in many ways. There it held punches, and there was the double jab. And what did that do? That opened up. And after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Chris, prime time. Nyan Bayar moving up in weight, going the distance. And I salute him, I take off my tie hat to him, and I wish him nothing but the best in his career. For 126 pounder, he carried power. I mean, like I said, um, we had a tremendous, tremendous training camp. <laughs>